Hey guys, so obviously if you can't tell already, I have a lot of shopping on my bed. I've just come back off holiday, well it's actually like a few weeks ago, and I first went to Frankfurt, Germany, and you will have seen a few videos from there, and I also went to London the week after, kind of, yeah, um, I went the week after, I had two days in between, and so I obviously did a lot of shopping this summer, so I thought I would show you guys um, everything that I've bought, there's a few things I'm not going to show, purely because they're more like touristy things, so um, for example I bought a t-shirt that said Frankfurt on it, and I also bought a cuckoo clock which is over there, so like really touristy things I'm not going to show you, I'm going to show you more of the um, beauty and fashion things that I got. So we're going to start off with the stuff that I got at Duty Free because like I said I went to Germany first and I actually went to Birmingham Airport and if you guys don't know they have a Mac store there. The first thing that I can see is I picked up another of my favourite lip liners in the colour Whirl and I'm actually wearing it now and this is just what it looks like. Um, I would swatch it but you can see it's on my lips and I pretty much wear it um, every day so if you want to check out my Instagram then I'll leave that down below because you'll see close-ups of it and things like that and how it photographs um, but this is actually the lip liner that Kylie Jenner uses um, so now I have one for my makeup collection and I have one in my bag because like I said I do use it every day I picked up the Pro Longwear Concealer in the colour NC15 and I've been using this when I was on holiday and a few times when I got back because you can see I've been using it a bit and this is just the lightest colour um, I believe NC is the I think it's like the warmer toned one because my mum got NW and that was more pinky because she's a more pinky toned than me. Um, so I got it in the lightest colour because I do fake tan and I do like to have a highlight under my eyes. I actually haven't got any concealer on today which is a pretty bad example. But I really love this. Um, the only thing I'm not too keen on is the pump. Okay, so this purchase is probably one of my favourites from MAC. Um, I was actually just having quite a big of a wander around because, like I said, I wanted to make sure that I got some things I really wanted. And the only things I really did definitely want was to pick up another of the Whirl um, lip liners and um, a powder which I've got in here. But I was really in the mood to try one of their eyeshadows because, believe it or not, I don't have any MAC eyeshadows. And I just wanted to start with one that was um, a little bit different, nothing that you could really pick up anywhere else. So I ended up getting the colour Antiqued. And and this is what it looks like up close. It's just such... I don't really think the light's giving it justice. It looks really red on camera, but it's just kind of like a bronzy red. But um, I've seen... I'm sure I've seen some tutorials where people have used this. But it really makes blue eyes pop. I actually also got some Studio Fix powder. Um, obviously this is kind of just a cult product. Everyone raves about it. And I got this in NC15 as well. And it's just to um, set that... A concealer underneath my eyes because obviously you need a light powder to set a light concealer or else it will just darken it again so I haven't really used it that much I've been using it um, a tiny bit on days when I actually feel like wearing more um, coverage but the coverage of this is actually amazing I always was a bit skeptical of this how um, it's supposed to be like a powder but it's a bit more like a foundation high coverage powder but it's actually really really good I also picked up a lipstick in the colour Honey Love and I really wanted to get one in I actually have a list of um, MAC lipsticks that I really wanted but in on the day I ended up kind of just like looking at the colours rather than the names and the one I ended up getting was Honey Love and I haven't actually worn this yet because I've been saving it for this video so it's a matte colour and it's a really nice kind of neutral and I thought it would go really well with this lip liner let me just see if I can swatch it on my hand it's kind of I don't know, it looks kind of, um, it's rosy in a way, I'd say like a rosy neutral, I'm sorry if the lighting isn't very good to see that, but it's like a rosy neutral, I thought it would look really good with this, as you can see they're kind of similar. I'm pretty sure that's everything that I got from MAC, um, I did get quite a lot for MAC, but um, like I said it was tax free. I might do it in order of the products because um, I do have some more beauty products that I'd like to show you first. I got these from London in a John Lewis store. It wasn't the Benefit store. Um, I was going to wait for the Benefit store, the um, flagship one on Carnaby Street, I think. But I ended up just buying them anyway. So I got quite a lot and I got some free samples as well. The first thing that I got was the Their Real Push Up Gel Liner. And I've been using this a couple of times I can't really say, I've probably about three times I've used this. I try not to use it for quite a while and I do find it quite easy to use. It takes a couple of times to get used to it. But I do find it very easy to draw a wing. Um, I haven't entirely nailed it yet, 
but it was definitely worth a try. The next thing I got was the mascara and I've already had one of these but I ran out of it literally months ago and I just, I don't know, it's kind of at that dry stage um, where I haven't thrown it out yet when I probably should but I bought a new one finally and I know that I really like this so I bought a new one of those. I also picked up the They're Real Remover and I haven't used this yet but we tried it out in the store because my mum actually got one of those little makeover things where they demonstrate the liner on you and you get like a little free liner or something um, and she tried out this on her hand I think she had some of the liner on her hand and it did remove it pretty much instantly I definitely think I'm going to be keeping this on my makeup desk though I won't use this as like a makeup remover purely because I think it's easier to keep upstairs use on a q-tip and just use to correct your problems rather than take all of it off then she gave me three free samples because like I said we spoke to the people at the benefit counter so I got a mini they're real which is like a travel size one I got a fake up which is the concealer which looks really pretty you can only kind of like see it in there I got a fake up which I've never tried before and she also gave me a little sample of the hello flawless foundation in the color ivory so i haven't tried the, any of the samples yet like i said so i'll be trying them out and let you guys know if i like them okay i believe we're on to the last beauty product so i went to selfridges when i was in london obviously you have to go to selfridges when you're in london and i really wanted to get some more makeup um i know i've already clearly bought a lot of it but you know I, you can get quite exclusive blends um blends you can get quite exclusive brands in selfridges ones that i can't can't get anywhere the, near where I live unless I have to travel for a little bit so I thought I would pick up something new and my mum actually recommended this brand it's Charlotte Tilbury and apparently she's a makeup artist I've never really heard of her but she's got this new makeup line out and I've been seeing her around a little bit so I actually picked up one of her palettes um, and this is in the colour Dolce Vita and this is what it looks like you can kind of see the reflection in there so I will do probably a separate video on this if you guys want one um, I might just quickly swatch it for you but as you can see there's like a pale highlighting colour this one's a really nice colour I think it's kind of like a it's very similar to antiques in a way it's just probably a bit less bronzy and a bit more red there's like a dark shimmery brown and a bronze here and I love the look that this has so let me just see how well I can swatch this I might just swatch it onto the tips of my fingers so you guys can see all of the different colours so that's the highlight colour let me just see how I can fit so that there is the highlight colour that one is the kind of ready bronzy one that one is the golden bronze and that one is the dark brown as you guys can see they're very pigmented colours and I personally love these kind of palettes I've been really like I said I've been really into the kind of like ready brown kind of palettes so we're going to take a trip back in time now, right now, and we're going to go back to when I went to Germany, and I'm going to show you, I know it's in an M&M bag, but that's because I was trying to look for the actual bag that I bought the things with, and I couldn't, I couldn't find them. Um, but in the M&M bag, I've got a mix of things from Bershka, which I used to, they used to be a store really close to me, and they don't have one anymore, and United Colors of Benetton. So I'm just going to go ahead and show you what's in there. I think most of it at the top is Bershka. So I picked up so many halter tops. I was inspired by Kylie Jenner like like everything <laughs> like everyone is these days. Um so I picked up a load of these halter tops which you can see you can just tie at the top and they're very simple as well. You can just I just wear mine with a strapless bra. Um it's kind of hard to show you, but obviously this is going to be a try on haul so you'll be able to see it. So I got a stripy one and these come in packs of two as well by the way um, I also got this pink one with little stars on it I got a oh where is it I got a black one which came with the ones with stars on which I, I wish I personally worn the most because I wear a lot of black anyway this is kind of hard to show you so I got a black one and then I also, see, I also got a white one so I love these I think they're just really cute and you can just put them with some high-waisted shorts and then that's like your whole outfit sorted so moving on to more things I got from Bershka I got more crop tops um, I think I mainly got crop tops from there so I got this one which says I think it says New York my dreams are here and it's one of those really flowy tops I've been after one of these for ages and they were in the sale all of this stuff was in the sale and this again looks really really nice with um, high-waisted jeans or high-waisted shorts so I'll be showing you guys that on the little try-on section and I've got the same top again you can tell I'm obsessed with these 
and I think this one says Hollywood on it yeah this one's like a greeny color and it just says Hollywood California because I want to go to Hollywood okay and then the last thing I got from Bershka yes this is definitely the last thing which I did wear in my outfit of the week video for Germany is this kind of muscle tank because it's got like big holes there and it's kind of curved at the bottom like you can see um, and this says stay sassy like I said I think I mentioned this before because we always say that my cat's sassy so it reminded me of her and I was missing her so I picked up that so that's everything that I got from Bershka and like I said everything was in the sale there um, and then that same day I also went to the shop called United Colours of Benetton which I had never heard of but I did see one in London as well so they're obviously everywhere um, so the first top I picked up was this kind of dressier one, it's just big and white and you can see it's got a lot of detailing around the armholes and the armholes are quite big and I just thought this would look really nice with um, some jeans and heels or some, like some black jeans because of the black detailing. And then the last top I got, uh, this one, <sighs> so when I picked it up I thought it was just going to be a tiny little bit of side boob going on but it ends up or it turns out like the whole thing is side boob it looks kind of big from the front but from the side I literally had to buy a bra for it because I thought it'd be okay just to wear like a sticky one but it was not okay and I didn't really want to wear a top underneath it because I thought it looked so nice and I didn't just want a plain bandeau so I'll show you the bra I got it's actually from Victoria's Secret um so this is kind of long I actually have worn this out before with a flannel shirt so you couldn't really see these sides um and it just says I think it says rock and roll on it or rock and rebel and I just really like the pattern on it it's just a big eagle so when I was in Germany there was a big sale going on in Hollister which is kind of weird because when I went to London there was no sale whatsoever so some of these things I actually got cheaper than I would have done here which I don't know um, so the first thing I got were these shorts I had to get them in an extra small because they either had these or a medium and I'm I was not a medium but I think they're kind of short so you kind of have to just wear them like around the house or something they're just these grey shorts it just says Hollister Co at the top and they've got little frills at the bottom and a little tie I just thought they were really really nice and comfortable so I picked up these and like I said everything I got from Hollister as well was in the sale um let me show you the top I got next so this is a top that I got in the sale which I actually saw for full price in London so I was glad that I picked it up it's kind of like watercolors um the back is kind of low and it's got two tiers to it and I think it says Hollister at the bottom as well yeah it's got the Hollister symbol at the bottom I just thought this was really pretty and you can wear it with them um, like shorts or jeans or whatever because it's not cropped but it is a bit shorter at the top so I was really liking this and I also picked up some underwear in Hollister because they had a um throw that away they also had a Jilly Hicks kind of underwear sale going on and I never knew they were associated together but maybe that's just I don't know so I will show you first these random pairs of pants that I, I didn't get anything to match with them they're just kind of plain like that and they say Jilly Hicks on the back and so I got those navy ones and I also got a pair of white ones and these were only I think they equated to like a few pounds each or something so it wasn't too bad and then I actually got an underwear set from Jilly Hicks which I thought was really comfortable so this is what it looks like it's kind of got that watercolour Thing going on you can kind of see the color it has the clasp in the front it's not overly padded but what I liked was the back how it's just kind of I don't know I like it when it goes into a racer back I feel like I've got more support that way and then to match with it I got this matching underwear which was the pants that match with it so I got this set I just find these really comfortable especially if I'm just going to the gym or something so I just picked these up because they went in the sale and I think that's everything I got from Germany apart from obviously touristy things which I'm not going to show in this video because they're a bit boring. I'm going to move on to the things I got in London now and the first thing I'm going to show you is what I got from Nike because I went here the first day and it wasn't a Nike store, it was the Nike outlet store. So this stuff um, was either completely on sale or just kind of like Nike outlet stuff which I personally don't mind having because I don't know I've got, I just love Nike stuff for the gym. So let me see what I can find first. Okay, this is kind of, this really confused me when I first saw it. But I'll show you it separately. Um, okay, let's just show you the front of that. So that's the top. You can see it's like a halter neck top and it's got like really tiny holes in it and it's just a regular top. And I'll show you this better on the try on bit, but it comes, it came with a free sports 
not a free sports bra but it came with a sports bra in the same pattern so you're meant to wear them together and it's just kind of like this grey kind of dark grey mull and obviously the sports bra isn't amazingly thick so you do have to kind of wear underwear underneath it if you are going out with it um so i just got these two and they were eight pounds for both um i got another little set which i actually wore the other day to go jogging so this is the sports bra oh let me show you this it's kind of confusing it's got like a halter bit here that goes behind your neck and it's got two regular straps and then the back is kind of like a mesh and the reason it's a mesh is because the top that it comes with which is lighter grey like this just looks like a plain top but the back is actually really low so you kind of have it on display like you can see that there um, I don't know this is also eight pounds eight pounds eight pounds um, which I don't think was too bad for a Nike top so I picked up that one as well I also got three pairs of bottoms from Nike and the first one I got were these joggers which I'm pretty sure I've got the exact same ones but you can never have too many and these were £8 they're just some of their dry fit yoga pants and they're kind of I think they were slim fit I didn't really say they look kind of slim fit but they're quite baggy at the bottom and these are the perfect length for me so I just picked up a pair of these because I know I wear them all the time and I also picked up a pair of the dry fit shorts which I've been wanting for ages I think I saw a picture of someone wearing some of these with like a crop top and it just looks so nice so they're just um, the exact same apart from their like little mini shorts and they go they're kind of high waisted I wouldn't say they're high waisted they're just kind of like underneath my belly button so I picked up a pair of these for when it's really warm and I'm working out in my house or something and the last ones are my favourite ones these are more expensive because they weren't on sale or anything but I just had to have them let me fold over the band so you can see what it says so they've got this kind of it kind of reminds me of um lightning it's kind of got like a lightning pattern on it so they're black um with gray and white detail and you can fold over the band at the top and it says just do it and it's got some little string attachments here so these were kind of more on the full price and these are capris as well so like I said I've got the shorts trans trance I was going to say trousers and then yoga pants the yoga pants and the capris um it's because I recently bought some of the Nike Russia runs which you would have seen in my outfit of the day or my outfit of the week videos so I thought I'd pick up some new joggers and things that I can wear with them and as obviously they're all very neutral colours so I'm definitely going to be getting a lot of wear out of these when I go to the gym again. So now we're on to the main shopping day in London and that's I was literally carrying like this bag, this bag, that bag, that bag, about six bags with me possibly more because I think I may have had a few more on the day like all day with my arm I got a bruise on my arm I wish I took a picture of it I had like a bruise on my arm because my shopping was so heavy um, but just shows how dedicated I am so anyway I'm going to start with Hollister because this one's the closest and I've already shown you some Hollister stuff I actually picked up a pair of shorts so I just got some high waisted I think they're just the short shorts and they're so comfortable so this is what they look like um, they're just the plain Hollister shorts with a little logo on the back and they're kind of frayed at the bottom and these are super comfy like I said so just picked these up they weren't on sale or anything they weren't having a sale which was kind of disappointing I actually went in Hollister to pick up um, a kimono that I saw in Germany I don't know if you guys probably if you go to Hollister you probably would have seen it it was like navy blue and it was kind of I think it was chiffon and it may have oh, I don't know but I saw it in Germany and it wasn't on sale so I thought because of the exchange rate I'd wait until I went to London because it would be cheaper for me to buy it in pounds rather than euros and then it wasn't there and I looked, I was literally in that shop for half an hour looking up and down. But yeah, that was pretty funny actually. That day, um, I think it was a kind of time where there were a lot of school trips going on. So when we went in, my mum and I went in the shop and then all of a sudden the guy at the, the, um, the shop front was like, stop, stop, not to us, but to everyone behind us. And there was too many people in the store because there was all these school trips trying to get into Hollister for some reason. But a lot, I think a lot of the children were, there were some Spanish, there was a Spanish group and there was, I think there was quite, a, I think there was a few Americans as well, which I thought was weird because I thought it'd be cheaper for Americans to buy Hollister in America where it, well for us it's cheaper, but I don't know. So 
we were like trying to get out the shop after half an hour like after this guy had made this big queue and they'd blocked the whole door off and it wasn't just like a door it was like a huge archway like the width of four doors and there was people like trying to like literally like push their way into the store like a mosh pit and then the guy was like let them out of the store let them out of the way and then he was like had to like move all these people out of the way so we could get out of the store it was like an exclusive club that day which is kind of weird because it's only Hollister so I'm thinking about moving on to Vans, which I think was the first shop I actually did, or second shop I actually went into. And in the Vans store they were having a sale. So the first thing I'll show you will be the top that I got, and I have worn this out once before. Um, there was a few other things I really wanted in there, but I wasn't too sure on the sizing because it was so busy I couldn't try anything on, but I knew this would fit me. So it's kind of like a halter again. Um, sorry, it's kind of like creased because it's been shoved in the bag um, and it's just black and it says fans in turquoise there was a grey one with black but my mum said to go for a bit more colour so I actually wore this out with a pair of skinny jeans and I think I wore some toms actually or some just black shoes and it looked really really nice so I wear this again with a strapless bra and I actually got another pair of fans Woo! fans crew I don't know I've got I have this like issue where I always just buy how many pairs of fans have I got I think this is my fourth pair. I think this is my fourth pair. I don't know. I just I have this thing where I just collect Vans and Converse. But I have an addiction to collecting Vans and Converse, especially when they're on sale. I've just got to like take them and buy them and take them home with me. So these ones really, really catch my attention. Um, it was literally as I was walking past the shop, I was telling my mum how much I love floral patterns with black over floral with white and I saw these and they are the old school vans um, I think that's what they, how they call it old school with a K so it's just got this pink leather strip I don't know if it's fake leather or real leather I'm really not sure probably fake leather and this suede feeling black here and it says vans in blue and that is that and this is this yeah, so I actually got these any five and a half and my normal shoe size is a seven normally I size down my Vans in Converse to a six to fit me even per more perfectly but a five and a half actually fit me so well and these were like there was only a few left in the store I think so I'm really lucky I grabbed these and I think they're only about 28 pounds which is for which for a pair of Vans is really 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 good um, considering most of them can be about 50 so I'm really glad I got to pick these up I'll just show you one thing that I actually did get from M&M World um, but I also <laughs> I got an M&M book that says message from Amelia so on every single thing it says message from Amelia so I can just leave people notes around the house with M&M's on so another shop that I spent hours unnecessarily in probably not hours but it felt like hours was Victoria's Secret and Pink and if you guys have been to the Pink on New Bond Street you know that Pink is on the bottom floor then there's Victoria's Secret and the Victoria's Secret again and then the third floor really I don't know it just freaked me out but there's like nothing there it's really weird so you can go up there but it's like I don't know what you do there it's just rooms it said like angels room and I mean I don't know if you just go and chill there or try things on like I don't know it really confuses me so anyway I went to pink and I took up the mix and match two for 20 pounds or 24 24 pounds offer so I picked up some plain black leggings from pink and they've just got the little dog on I don't know if you can even see They've got a little dog on their little pink dog. So these are the pink full length leggings. And they have mainly t-shirts. I wasn't really a huge fan of um, many of the tops that they had for the two for 24. But I actually managed to find this top which was in the offer. So it was just a white tank top as you can see it's just kind of like a racer back but they have a really nice pattern on here look you can kind of see the detail so this was also in the offer and they look really good together actually like these leggings or those leggings and this top they had these leggings and I thought they were going to be I think it was 19 1950 and they're just the full length fold over leggings and it's them like a grey mull it says pink and there's also little gemstones in there I don't know if you can really see they're just like little black gemstones and these ended up being £10 which was so good for Victoria's Secret because these on the tag was, should have been 40 so they actually rung up a lot cheaper than I thought they would and the last thing I got these were these should have been um 
ten pounds. They ended up only being five pounds, which again was a huge, amazing deal. So. As you can see they're just leggings and they've got this kind of like tribal pattern just on the outside and these are just their fashion leggings now we are on to the final bag which is Victoria's Secret which is underwear so I'm gonna show you guys some underwear and the one that I got was this one um, it's kind of hard to see because obviously I'm not going to try this on to show you guys but it's very caged it's attaches at the front and it's got lace coming around here and two straps at the front and I just really wanted a top that would look good um, if you've got like a racer back top on like that black one I bought from Germany and you wanted something you wanted to show your bra but you wanted it to look nice to show if that makes sense I don't just want to show a regular bra I want it to look like if you do show it, it doesn't really matter. So it also has three straps on the side, um, as you can see, and that's the back of it. This is really hard to show because it's all kind of like caged together. So that's the back of the bra. Um, it's just kind of got uh, lace and it's just the three straps. So I don't know, it was quite pricey, but um, I justified it and I really wanted one, so I picked it up. I think this one was the matching one which are just kind of like regular regular pants but they matched so I picked them up I really wanted some different ones it just got lace there and lace trimming around the side and I think they're kind of the no visible lined ones so you can kind of wear them with jeans and things I also picked up this one which is a bit a bit risque but it matched again so I wanted it as part of the little group. Last one I got, which was really nice. They had a really nice bra that matched this. It kind of reminded me of it because it's got the strings on the side. They're just regular pants, but they obviously have these kind of stringy bits on the side. <sighs> That's everything from Victoria's Secret. So, as you can see, a lot of damage has been done on my two holidays. Um, so yeah i really hope you guys have enjoyed this huge haul that i've done um if you want me to do sort of like any back to school videos then leave me a comment down below so if you guys have any requests for me then leave them down below and don't forget to like this video for more huge hauls and i took note of your comments from my last haul which you guys said that you preferred them when they were really long hauls and they were try on hauls and kind of collective ones so i thought i would do that rather than dividing it per holiday or per shop so i really hope you guys have lasted the the whole way through this video and you really enjoy it so yeah don't forget to subscribe leave me any comments down below or suggestions or anything you really want to see from me and I'm gonna go ahead and cool down now because I'm literally boiling hot even to the point where it's like too hot when my watch is so I'm gonna have to take this off but anyway I will see you guys in my next video I hope you're all having an amazing day and I hope you get some inspiration from the things that I've bought if you were going shopping or want any recommendations of things so so yeah um I'll see you guys later. Bye.